Hi everybody, this is Andriana from The Active Educator and today I'm going to be talking to you about our reading superpowers. Because what makes reading even more fun? Well, when you're reading like a superhero. So I'm going to be talking you through all of the different reading superpowers your little one can work on at home as they're working on their reading. This is super motivating for littles. Um, I know that when we use this in my Little Land classroom, it's a great visual support for the littles when they're working in their independent reading time. And it's also something that kind of keeps them accountable for goal setting during reading time. Sorry about that, an email just went off. Um, but yeah, it's a great resource for them because it keeps them accountable and it kind of gives them that kind of visual guideline of what they need to work on and look for as they're reading. So listed here on this Ready, Set, Read card are all the reading superpowers and I'm going to take you through each one and you'll see why these are so fun for littles as they're working in their independent reading time. Alrighty, here we go. So we are going to go ahead and use our reading superhero cards to kind of walk through what it would look like to use this as we're working in our independent reading time. So I'm going to go ahead and share a couple of these books. I might just read one. I can't decide yet. Um, but we're going to start with this title, which is called I Can. I Can by Maria Fleming. So this is a little leveled readers and I do love these books. I kind of wish they had some color in the pictures, but they work perfectly for um, the words, which you'll see. I can skip. I can slide. I can run. I can ride. I can, hmm. Oh, let me use my picture power. Okay, what's the little girl doing? She's skating. So let me see, let me try to use my first letter power here. I can sk eight. skate, oh, great. I can, hmm, let me use my picture power. What could that word be? Let me use my first letter power too. What's the last letter power here? G -g so it's gotta be a word that ends with g. Swing. I can, ooh, this is a snap word. I know that's a sight word. Do, I can do anything. All right, let me go ahead and go over to my reading superhero card. So I can use pointer power. Was I making sure to point to each word as I was reading because that's pointer power? Yep, I was doing that. Check, can you give me a check? Check, I can use picture power. Was I using my pictures to help me figure out words I didn't know? Yeah, definitely. Give me a check, check. I can use snap word power. Was I looking for sight words and reading the right sight words? Yep, definitely. Can you give me a check for that? Check. I can use first letter power. So when I got to a word I didn't know, did I look at the first letter and try to stretch that sound? and see if it matched using my picture power because you know, I was using a lot of different powers at once but I was definitely using first letter power. Give me a check, check. I can use last letter power. Did I use last letter power to try and help me figure out words I didn't know? Yep, definitely. Give me a check, check. I can use pattern power. Did this book follow a pattern on each page that I was able to read? Well, yeah, if you remember, at each page started with, I can, I can, I can. And I definitely noticed that pattern. So yeah, I would say I was definitely using pattern power. Check. I can use fix it up power. So if I got to a word I didn't know, and maybe I said the wrong word, 
Like, let's take a look at this page and let's try to pretend I said I can walk. Let's say I thought I thought that's what it was. I was using my picture power and I assumed she was walking. Now, fix it up power means I backed up and I used some of my other powers to help me figure out that this does not say walk. It couldn't say walk. Well, let me go back to using my first letter power. W -w what would I need my first letter to be if I was trying to read the word walk? W -w yeah, I would need it to be a W. Is that a W? No. So I was using fix it up power and helping myself to read the right word. I can run, run, okay? So definitely. So those are all my readings. So yes, I think that if you are working on accountability during your little one's independent reading time, this is a great tool for you to use and actually for them to use, kind of build up their independence um, during that reading time. And it's also just a great, like I said, visual because it helps them remember all of the different powers that they should be working on as they are reading. So pointer power, pointing to each word as they read. Picture power, which we, this is our kind of signal for it, picture power, um, is what they need to be looking at their pictures for clues. Um, snap word power, they're looking and reading the correct sight words. First letter power, when they see a word, are they looking at the first letter power to make sure that it makes sense with the word that they're reading? So if I saw this word, what's the first letter power? B, B, okay? So making sure they do that. Last letter power, same thing as first letter power, but now we're looking at the last letter in that word. What does the last letter say? Well, in this specific word, it says G, G. So making sure the word that they say matches with that last letter power. Pattern power, if there is a predictable pattern in the story, are they able to recognize that? That's really important. And then the last one is fix it up power. And that's definitely a power that comes along later um, because a lot of littles really need lots of practice before they're able to understand or realize that they've said maybe the wrong word so let's say they're reading and they end up saying, let me give you an example. They say here, I like my teeth. So they're using picture power and they're using some of their powers, but not all of them because does that say teeth? Well, no, so fix it up power would mean they realize that they've said the wrong word. So they're able to back up and self-correct. So that's definitely a power that I would say comes along a little bit later. Um, so are they able to then go back and say, wait a second, teeth, t -t. I was not following my first letter power here because why could this not say teeth? Well, there's no t, -t for our first letter power. That's not a T, it's a S. Okay, so using, going back to some of those previously practiced and learned powers and then being able to fix it up. So that's the last one on our list there. So again, this is our reading superhero cards and we reference this all the time. Um, my little ones have this in their book bins and they also have a dry erase marker and a, an eraser. So that way when it is read to self time in class, they have their books out and they check these off as they go. All right, and that's it for this video. So, gosh, this marker is a little bit hard to erase here, but that's it for this video. If you like this, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more teaching videos.